Hi all, I just wanted to give a, a quick tip. I've noticed a couple of people on some of the beginner um, groups for claw hammer banjo that they're having trouble with the timing and in between switching chords, getting it to stay smooth rhythm wise and getting from say the G chord to the C chord to the D chord. Um, the most important thing you can do is just get your right hand so that you don't have to think about it. Just practice on the, just the first string and doing the bum diddy, you know, the basic strum. You should be able to hold a conversation with someone while you're doing this. And then after you get that to a point where you don't have to think about your right hand, that's when you can start with the left hand. So I can put my left hand up here in position to get ready, but because my right hand already knows what it's doing and I don't have to think about it, I can concentrate everything on my left hand. So look at your left hand. Now for a C chord, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put your ring finger on the first string at the second fret and your index finger on the second string at the first fret. So I'm going to visualize and my hand is right in position to get ready to do that. I'm going to get that out of the way. So this finger is ready to go right down there and this finger is ready to go right down there. So my hand is in this position, and my fingers are just off the fret. So my right hand, again, just continues. Okay, so looking at your left hand, ignore the right hand, because you already know that. Now put your fingers down. Do that as many times as you have to, just to get comfortable, and keep looking at your left hand. Okay, now take the fingers off. Now, if your hand is in the right position, getting from that C chord to the G, you just lift your fingers, but getting from the C chord to the D chord is simple because all you do is you lift your ring finger and put your middle finger right down where it really is already. So it goes on the third string, second fret. So G, C, G. Now all that was just playing the basic strum on the first string and then strum thumb. So eventually what you want to be able to do is different strings. But again, your right hand, you should know that without even having to think about it. You want to keep that rhythm going. and. If you need to sacrifice, just keep your right hand going and the chords will come as they go. Um, and another thing, what I usually do is I, I sort of coordinate between the two hands. So when I'm getting ready to do that C chord, this finger, this whole hand is going in that position at the same time as I'm coming down and hitting that. So I'm not waiting. Now I can do a hammer on, but... It's sort of they're, they're working together like a piano. It's like they're doing this at the same time. They're both coming down on, onto that string. So again, what you want to do is get the right hand so you don't have to think about it at all. And then just look at the left hand. Really look at it and visualize even as you're doing it. Even as you're watching yourself do it, you should be visualizing what you're doing. Okay, hope that helps.